Let's look at an example. Um, first, one thing to note, a bit of notation that I left off the previous video. Um, velocity will often denote by V of T. Makes sense, V for velocity and acceleration. A of T, A for acceleration. Um, so you see that being used in the example here. Um, okay, so the first part asks us to find the velocity and the acceleration. That's not so bad. All right, for the velocity, we take the derivative term by term, 2t minus 1, 2t plus 1. And for the acceleration, we take the derivative again. Okay. Um, and notice that the acceleration is a, is a constant. Um, now, that might have you worried about part C. Part C says, hey, when is the, when is the speed? going to be a minimum. And you're like, well, you know, speed, speed's like velocity, right? And, and I, I remember something from Calc 1 about, you know, uh, well, acceleration is the derivative of velocity, and if the velocity is a minimum, then the, the derivative of the acceleration should be zero, and all well, the acceleration is never zero, it's a constant. Um, so then you're worried. But remember, the, the speed is a scalar quantity, it's the magnitude of the velocity, and so throwing that, that magnitude in there, that square root and everything, um, that's going to that's gonna change the game for us. We'll see there is going to be a minimum uh, speed. Um, and and vel now velocity is a vector quantity. It doesn't really make sense to talk about a vector having a minimum, right? Only the magnitude makes sense. Now, for part B, we want to plot. And for the, for the first one, for R of t, This is um, it's a little bit tricky to plot this one, to be honest, um, because it's a parabola, but it's, it's a parabola that's been kind of rotated, so it's, it's at an angle, right? Um, but we do have intercepts here, here, and here. And overall, the whole thing is going to do something like this. Okay. Now, I drew it that way, but actually the direction of travel is like that. Okay. Um, starts here, ends there. Should be a little bit more symmetric, perhaps, but my artistic skills are not so amazing. Right? Um, okay, now um, for V of T, well, maybe we don't want to just plot V of T. That's going to be a straight line. Not so interesting. Um, but also, we don't necessarily want to plot we, this as a graph. We're more interested in plotting these velocity vectors at various points on the graph of R of t, right? To sort of think about them as, as tangent vectors. And so we might plot, you know, so let's say if we do t equals minus 2, for example. Okay, so that's going to be 6. That's going to be a 2. So at the point 62, which you know is out here somewhere, and if I plug minus 2 into here, I'm going to have minus 5 and minus 3, right? and I'm going to have this vector pointing that way. Um, if I plug in t is equal to minus 1, that's this point down here, and I'm going to have minus 3, and then I'm going to have, that's going to be minus 2 plus 1, minus 3, and then minus 1. Um, and so that's going to be like that, okay? And if I do it at, say, t equals 0, um, we're going to be at the origin. And here I'm just going to have minus 1 plus 1. So that's like so. And again, we can kind of see how it's following the curve, right? At t equals 1, again, you can plug it in and you'll find the, the tangent vector here. And at 2, you'll find the tangent vector there and so on, okay? Um, okay, great. Uh, and then what about the acceleration? Well, the acceleration is this sort of constant vector, all right? It's, it's 2, 2. It's the same everywhere. Um, it's just pointing always kind of in this direction. So it's, it's here, right? It's here. It's here. It's here. 
here, right? Um, and and so you can kind of see how the you know the acceleration always being in that direction, right, is turning the velocity vector, right? So the we're going this way, but the acceleration is pulling kind of back and and a bit you know a bit that way. So it's going to turn it up and slow it down, right? And it's going to keep pulling it you know that way. It's going to turn it. Right, it's going to pull it that way more, so it turns, right, it turns, so you can kind of see the effect of the acceleration there, okay? Um, all right, and finally, the speed. When is the speed minimized? Well, the magnitude of r prime is going to be the square root of 2t minus 1 squared, 2t plus 1 squared, Okay, and now that is going to be uh, 4t squared plus another 4t squared, 8t squared, minus 4t plus 4t, those cross terms cancel, and then plus 1 plus 1 plus 2, right? Um, and notice that this is always bigger than or equal to 2, right, because that's a, a square. It's a positive coefficient in front of a square. So this can never be negative. So the whole thing can never be less than 2. Uh, where do we get that minimum value of 2 for the speed? Um, well, that's going to happen at time t equals 0.